Hi Leo, welcome to your singles reading for November, who's coming towards you. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. Please check the description box below on how to book a personal reading, uh, social media links. Um, my PayPal link is there if you wish to do an en energy exchange. My PO box is there if you wish to send some sort of mail or a gift or something like that. I do have an Amazon wish list, uh, decks I'm using, all kinds of stuff down there. So please do go check that out. Be greatly appreciated. And welcome to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you. And those who have reached out for personal readings, thank you so much for letting me uh, read for you. I truly appreciate it. And those who have blessed me with an energy exchange, as in a tip or a donation to the channel, is very much appreciated. So thank you to everybody for your support and helping with the channel's growth and getting the messages out to the people that need to hear them. So thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so this is Leo Singles. Who's coming towards you in November? We're going to look at um, who, when, where, how, what kind of person will they be, what kind of connection will it be, clarified with tarot. So please only take what resonates, throw the way uh, the rest, I guess, if that makes any sense. Um, I also could pick up past, present, future energy. So if I read something here and you're like, gee, that's somebody I met a long time ago was like the same scenario. Keep in mind that can happen also. All right, so Leo, I hope everybody's doing well. And happy fall, happy November. Can you believe we're in November already? Well, I'm recording this on October 27th, so I mean, we're almost into November. But this reading can be from the time you watch this till whenever. So uh, I just date it to give, you know, um, in which order I record them. So this could happen now, it could happen next month, three months, whenever here. Just sort of a fun reading. So let's see, what do we have for Leo singles for November and beyond? Uh, okay, Aquarius wanted to come out. So I'm gonna get two, we'll get one more. One more possible signs of who may be coming towards you. We have one more for Leo. One more for Leo who's coming towards them for singles. So, no, not half the deck. Let's take this one since it was poking out poking out. So we have, oh, we have Aquarius and Sagittarius. So some of you Leos uh, who fire could be meeting a air sign, which is Aquarius, or a fellow fire sign, which is Sagittarius. Or you could meet somebody who has both these signs in their chart. Or you may even have one of these signs in your chart. Or two separate people. So however that... Um, resonates for you. You could also already have these people around you, but maybe you're just friends or maybe, you know, something like that, or you're not involved romantically in any way. I don't know. It could be somebody fresh and new that you don't even know. All right. So with this deck here, the first thing I want to look into is who is this person? What is their energy like? What is their personality like? That sort of energy. Wow. <laughs> My cards are making a mess here. I hope this person's not in a mess because my cards are not behaving. All right, let's do one more shuffle. All right, that was good. All right, Leo. Wow, okay. Leo. Who is this person coming towards? Leo, possibly. Month of November or after. Who is this person? What is this? What, are, what is their energy like for Leo? Please, for Leo spirits, what is this person? Who is this person? What is their energy like that may be coming towards Leo? Take that one. Rest and rejuvenation. So, and this is air. This is air energy. So that, you know, could be Aquarius here. So this could be somebody who, um, they may be very peaceful, calm. They may like to pray, meditate. They also may like, they also may be like an introvert, like maybe like to just spend time by themselves. Um, or possibly they could be somebody who's just getting over something, as you say, uh, rest and rejuvenate here. So uh, they could be somebody who has just gotten over something that they're recuperating and resting from and rejuvenating from. You know, healing, meditating, that sort of energy, thinking, contemplative energy. So they may have that energy about them, very... Um, analytical, logical, 
you know, they may have a very uh, logical mind. <clears throat> As with that's very much air energy. It's all about logistics and that sort of energy. Hmm, okay. So, we'll clarify a lot, a lot of this with the tarot. So, when could you possibly meet this person? Whatever we get here, I'm just going to take uh, a time frame. So, we have... The lover's energy here, which is Gemini. So Gemini season is uh, end of May into June. That's Gemini season, May into June. So you could possibly possibly meet this person in June is the sixth month of the year. So I'm getting heavily June here. So in Gemini season sometime here, May into June, specifically June with the sixth there. Okay, so where, like where could you meet this person? What kind of setting could Leo possibly meet this person? What kind of setting? Hmm. Okay, so I believe this is the tower. So you could meet them, uh, could meet them like in a hotel or a building or something like that. Uh, maybe even like a mall or something like that. I'm just taking the energy of, um, yeah, I think, believe this is the tower. So yeah, so some sort of <laughs> tall building structure, um, like a hotel or something like that. Okay, so let me move over so any sort of I mean it could be a hotel it could be it could be any sort of like public building like large public building is what I'm getting with that so again like a library or um, hotel motel uh, casino or you know something some sort of large public um, building all right so let's see so that is the where, but how will like you run into them? How will you meet them? Sort of energy. So how will they run into this person? How does someone have to jump out at me? So this is financial and material. So this could be a casino. <laughs> you know, you could be playing slot machines. You should see the hand there. You could play be playing uh, poker or gambling or a casino or something like that. So you could be actually like gambling or you could be in line to pay for a room at a motel and they're behind you, ahead of you or something because we do have um, financial there. So something with, you know, money or something like that. So it could actually be, like I said, gambling at a, a casino and you're sitting next to them or you could be in line, I mean, you could be even out shopping in line, waiting to pay for your items, uh, you know, at a motel or hotel, waiting to pay for your room, book a room or something like that, um, or any kind of situation like that. So somewhere in a public setting in a large building where you're in line getting ready to pay your fee or you're gambling at a casino, or something like that that makes sense to you if you don't gamble if you don't frequent casinos then again it could be somewhere where like you're in line getting ready to pay for your items your fee your room or something like that okay so all right so now what I want to do is look at so if you strike up a conversation with this person that's either in front of you, in back of you, next to you, whatever, in line here. Um, you may just strike up a conversation, you know, with this person, just talk, just to pass the time. And uh, you connect with this person. What kind of connection will it be? So it says here, Wait, don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So, hmm. So for some reason here, 
It's telling you to wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So, I mean, if I read the cards here, it could be you or them um, that has just gotten over something and is healing, resting, rejuvenating from that. And they also may be the type of person that could be very spiritual, religious. Uh, maybe they, you know, are kind of like a loner. Maybe they don't have a lot of friends. They're very reflective. Um, they think, they contemplate, they're very logical about everything sort of energy. And I see Gemini season, like I said, May to June. But also, this could be instant, like, attraction because this is the lover's card. So it could be like an instant attraction between the two of you. But I do believe this is the um, tower here. But I'm taking that energy as a public, like a large public building that you may meet them. And how you may meet them or, uh, you know, is, like I said, either in line paying for, finance, find something financial, items, a fee for a room or something like that. Or at a casino, if you're gambling, if you don't go to casinos, then... Um, then it could be something else, out shopping or something like that. So this is the Five of Pentacles energy, and this is the Tower. You know, so this is disruption, and this is... I don't know, something here um, with this energy of disruption, and then... You know, financial material changes, the five of pentacles is like material lack. So this person may be, if it's at a casino, maybe a he heavy gambling, they may have a heavy gambling addiction or something like that. And that maybe that's why you're getting weight here until you find out more about this person. So maybe like leaping in if you feel like instant attraction or connection to them. Maybe to wait till you find out more information about them. And I'm not saying that they have an addictive personality, but it could be a possibility um, or something either happened in your life where there was a big disruption and now this financial loss or them. But something here is about weight, weight in this connection. I don't know why we'll get into that. Um, so, you know, don't rush into it. You know, take it slow, take time. You know, let nature take its course. So, like I said with the uh, lovers there, maybe I mean, you may want to just jump in the sack with them. And say, nope, don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Somebody may get their heart broken. So, I don't know. Let's get your advice. Let's get your advice. It could even be at work um, or something like that. Maybe somebody new you work with. I don't know. All right. So, let's get your advice. What's Leo's advice with this connection? What is Leo's advice? Singles, who's coming towards them with this connection? What is their advice, Spirit, please? Can we have whoop, one card for Leo? So we have Aphrodite, inner goddess. Awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, and appreciating your divinity. So this is knowing your value, your worth, um, your inner goddess, inner goddess, knowing who you truly are. So if you feel like this person isn't good enough for you, I mean, there may be, like, um, instant attraction and chemistry, but if there's something here lacking that you feel is lacking in the connection, you may want to wait and find out more about this person instead of, like, diving and jumping right in. Um, somebody could be still healing from something and they're not fully healed yet, whether it's you or them. Could be them because this is about who is coming towards you. So if you're single, ready to mingle and ready to meet somebody and you're in a good place, then this is, and that's why you're watching this, then this is about the person you're about to meet. That they may not be fully um, healed and recovered from something. And maybe, you know, be careful, it's not a rebound type of energy. So that's why, you know, with the inner goddess there, I'm thinking, you know, know who you are, know your value, your worth. And as strong as the connection chemistry may be, um, they may be still getting over some kind of disruption in their life. And they may have financial lack at this time right now, maybe because of that, if they were married and just coming out of that, you know, maybe their finances aren't so good. 
So yeah, don't rush into it. Let it take its course. And if you feel like this person, as strong as a connection may be, something just isn't right, then listen to that. Listen to your inner goddess, inner goddess, your intuition about this connection. Okay, let's clarify with some tarot, Leo, to see what is going on with you. I'm really getting, listen to your inner goddess about this connection. If it doesn't feel right, as strong as the connection, attraction may be, then really, really listen to that and wait. You may tell them, you know, if they confess, confess to you, you know, I just ended something and I'm still not quite over it, you know, and you feel like, oh, it's a rebound or something, you know, just wait and say, you know, well, give them your number, ask for their number or something and say, well, you know what? When you're ready and you're over it and you're ready to like go out for a cup of coffee or something like that, then here's my number or whatever. Maybe we can get together then. All right, so let's see. Six of Pentacles energy here. So yeah, wanting, you know, you wanting, uh, things need to be equal, balanced um, kind of energy. Like you see this person giving to one while the other one's begging. So you don't want to be in that energy of, you know, this person still is trying to get over something from the past and they still are giving some of their energy to that and not fully giving their energy to you. And there isn't that equal uh, receptivity between the two of you because they're still attached to energy from the past. So yeah, things need to be equal, fair and balanced here. And you don't want them coming towards you and you may have to tell them that until they're fully over this Yep, till they closed out that cycle with the world energy here, that they fully closed that cycle, they fully had closure, and they're ready to start new, a new chapter in their life, and they fully left that behind. That's exactly what I was saying. Yep, so wait, Seven Pentacles here, wait, and we got wait there. Seven Pentacles is about, you know, you meet this person, you invest a little bit in them, you get to know them, you chit chat with them, you feel the attraction, you feel the chemistry, but it's telling you here to wait wait you know you plant the seeds a little bit but you may have to tell them until you fully close out that chapter close it closure leave it in the past leave it in behind and you can fully give equally to me as me to you then we can get together and see you know a cup of coffee or a date or whatever all right what else here yep and did i not say with the high priestess here listen to your intuition this is about listening to your intuition with the high priestess here. Listening to your inner goddess, knowing what's right, what's not right, and really paying attention to your gut feelings. The sun, so, and there's your energy, Leo. Happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, happy home and family, um, growth, expansion, everything positive with the sun. Yeah, so you really need to listen to your gut intuition with this one for your own happiness and movement forward. You know, I'm not saying like just sit around and wait for this person, but you know, you can kind of plant the seed there, but kind of just move on with your life, with your own happiness and joy and growth and moving forward. All right, let's see. What other messages for Leo with this incoming person for singles? <sighs> what else? Wow. Wow, okay, so yeah, Seven of Cups energy. I feel that, like this person is just confused. Options, you know, weighing out the pros and cons of the situation, them or you. A little bit of confusion here. Again, options, what do I do? So they may, you know, Maybe it'll be confused about them, them about you, you know, and then the page. So here's an offer, you know, page of pentacles, a very secure, stable, grounded offer. It's very slow moving. And then the emperor, so someone who takes control, charge, is a ruler. Again, the male, male, female, doesn't matter, emperor, empress, knowing their value, their worth taking control and the charge of the situation and there's your energy strength so having that inner strength um, to hold back to know your value and your worth to hold back to have willpower and not just jump right in 
So I feel like this is saying until they can really know what they want here, what they need to choose, what they need to leave behind, to, what they really uh, want in their life, and they can take control of their life and move on in their life and then come forward with a stable, grounded offer here that you need to uh, hold back, know your, you know, have that willpower and hold back and know your inner strength and not just jump into this. Because we have Leo twice here. We have the sun and we have strength, which is both Leo. Wow, so we don't have any other in the tarot here, any other energy of um, Aquarius or Sag Sagittarius energy here. We have Earth, we have Earth, we have Earth. <laughs> so that's all about stability, growth, expansion, value and worth. Water, Leo, water, Earth again, Aries, Leo. So Let's see if there's any other messages for Leo. That's too many. Any other messages for Leo? Yeah, so water energy again, and now here's a Leo Sag Aries with the four of wands. So until somebody, I'm getting them, can take forward movement, being very equal and balanced within themselves and wanting victory and success, um, and forward move taking that forward movement um, into union here so this is the four of wands so this is you know coming together in union of some kind stability it's usually about home life celebrations ceremonies or something like that or two people just coming into union and having a good time so until they can move forward from whatever they're trapped stuck in from the past and just concentrate on you and having this union getting together celebrating like I said could be just going out for a date uh, a drink or coffee or something like that. So they need to take control and move move forward and out of the stuck energy and close that cycle and start a new cycle being balanced and coming into some sort of happy time with you. And I'm saying a commitment, that'd be ridiculous, but at least a date or a coffee or a drink or something like that. So yeah, I'm, I placed it right here under the high priestess in the sun. So, yeah, listen to your gut and intuition about this, about this, you know, don't just rush into it. And uh, if they finally call you and say, look, you know, I'm over it, I'm done with the past, you know, let's, can we meet up or something, then, you know, you may want to consider that. Yeah, so King of Cups energy, so water energy here doesn't have to be, but yeah, so finally coming forward taking that action and saying, you know, I really like you. Um, can we go out? Can we do something here? Taking that action. And there's uh, Cupid's arrows, messages, communication. And again, the communication here, very, very fiery, passionate, exciting kind of communication coming in and taking that action of, you know, this is, you know, love, affection, or just being very uh, sincere kind of energy. So, Leo, trust your intuition on this. Uh, just, just don't jump right in. Get to know them. If they're still not over something from the past and they kind of tell you that, then I would wait and say, well, here's my number or whatever. You know, I'd like you or whatever. And when you are ready, you know, contact me and we'll see where it goes from there. But I wouldn't wait around. I would move on with your life and telling you not to rush into this. Wow, Leo. Okay, Leo, if you do like this, please do like, share, subscribe, and comment. I love to read the comments. Hit the bell. You'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month. I do a singles reading like this, who's coming towards you. I do a love connection reading for someone you already have a connection with. I also do a general tarot forecast also, which is a general reading for the month. And a I do a spirit messages reading, uh, messages from your spirit guides, what you need to know at this time. So if you're interested in all that, Please do subscribe. You won't miss out. Hit that bell and you won't miss any readings. And if you do, thank you, thank you. So good luck to you here. Uh, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with the sun energy here to always, always shine your light.